this is how you complete the find growth slash decay percentage part of the delta math assignment. So the text here gives us, given the following exponential function, identify whether the change represents growth or decay and determine the percentage rate of increase or decrease. So we know what the form for exponential functions is. That's y is equal to a times b to the x power. And we are given y equals 42 times 0 0.913 to the x power. So we know what our b is. We also know that b is equal to 1 plus r. Here, r is our rate of change and b is the multiplier. Now, we, we have 1 here because it's 100% plus the rate of change and these are all as a decimal. We can also solve for r. To do that, we just subtract 1 from both sides. And then we have b minus 1 equals r. This is our, our literal equation for r. And we can use this to figure out if we have a certain b, what our r is. So this is our b. So b is equal to 0 0.913. So we take that, 0 0.913, and we subtract 1. And when we do that, we're going to get a negative number. And it's going to be 0. 087. So this is going to be decay. And we know it's decay because the b is less than 1, and our rate change is going to be negative. The next thing we have to do on the delta math is simply select decay. So we have decay, and we also need to write this as a percentage. Now to write this as a percentage, we are just going to take that number, and we're going to move the decimal place two places. Basically, we just multiplied by 100. So our growth slash decay, in this case decay rate, is negative 8.7%. So we would write that in delta math as negative 8.7. And then when we hit submit answer, we should get big, happy, green check mark if we did it right.